What up? Coming to you live from Virginia Auto Mall. In today's video, we're gonna do a full inventory walk around, showing some cappuccinos, showing some European Beetle cappuccinos, along with some other JDM classics. We have two Toyota Serras, a Jimny and Pajero. But we're starting this video with one of the heavy hitters, one of the most popular cars. If you're a fan of whistling diesel, you might know exactly what car I'm talking about. But over there, we have four of them lined up. It's none other than a Toyota Hilux pickup. So we got four of them back to back. I'm gonna show you all four of them. They're all automatic. They're all from 20 to $22,000. But if you mention Wait for the Fame, you can have it for 18. You can pick whichever one you want. This one has 236,000 kilometers, four wheel drive, power windows all around. I'll pop the hood on this one. All four of them are turbo diesel. Then we got this one, rain guards, nice high looks bar. Clean interior, love those mats. This one has 119,000 kilometers. I want to get one of these and go off-roading one day. This one has power mirrors too. Then we got this one with the bash bar. Got a plate back there for a step. Oh, this one's clean. This one is clean. This one has 207,000 kilometers. I'm surprised. Everything looks good. Got a couple cracks in the dash, but that's not the worst thing. And it doesn't have a sunroof. I know that sometimes that's people's preference. Then we got the last one here. Rain guards. Paint looks good. Got a receiver there. No sunroof again. This one has a Recaro, I think. Yeah, it has a Recaro. Check that out. 140,000 kilometers. Has a JDM screen. Automatic. Give this a rev. You can actually hear the turbo spool. That's sick. Now let's walk over here and show some more diesels. Let's start off with this Delica. This one is a Chimoni. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Always love seeing them when they have like the Chimoni package because they have the cool interiors like, oh my God, look at this floor mat. All the way in the back too, all the seats have this. Wow, this has to be worth a lot of money. This isn't even, wow, that isn't even the floor mat. That's the floor. This is the floor mat. Oh my God. All the way around, oh my God. It's really the little things. That is sick. That is really crazy, wow. If anyone watching this has an L400 Delica, comment below. Am I overreacting? I feel like that's really sick. Tension to detail on the fog lights is cool. Let's start this one up. Has 142,000 kilometers. Got the diesel purin. I had one of these, if you guys remember. That's why I'm kind of, I wouldn't say stuck on it, but this is sick. We're gonna check out the highest is, but having one of them and just seeing it in like it's beefed up form. Look at those tires. Got the mirror tint. Got the JDM backup camera. Wow, I love this. I can't get over these floors though. I really can't get over this. Next cars we're gonna talk about are the Toyota Hiaces. So he has, I think, maybe eight of them in total, but over here we have five of them, four of them being campers, this one just being a normal one. So we can start off with this bad boy. I'm already loving the seats. Very clean. This one has the cool top, like the glass here. 
and then the glass over there oh this one doesn't even have the seats back here wow this is almost like a huge cave-in i wonder if the person just took them out i can lay back here easily <laughs> yeah like easily i can take a look at this with the seats still there i could really just go camping like this and you could still fit five people in here wow I said this one wasn't a camper, but maybe it's more of a DIY camper compared to the other ones. So this is High Ace number one, Super Custom G. Loving the color. This guy even has curtains. And then the two next to this one are badass. So I'm not even sure what this is. Someone comment below. It looks like it's something to do with electricity, maybe camper lights or something. Look at the interior, very clean, high roof. 153,000 kilometers, power windows. The closer we get to the back, the cooler it gets. Look at this. So we have the beautiful peach color seats. Got a table here. Again, like I mentioned, high roof, like very high roof. Can I stand here? Almost, I'm like 5'10". I could almost stand up. I could walk around, I really wouldn't be too comfortable. But then we start working our way back here. So you have a sink. You have a stove, you have a fridge you can put there. You got your water tank, water tank number two. You got storage here, storage up there, storage over there. And let's say you're cooking, you got your cutting table right here, along with interior lights. This is what you call a JDM camper. And now let me show you this one. This one might even be a little better. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about these high aces. But this one again, clean interior. All of them are automatic. Let's check the kilometers. Oh, this one is digital, we can't tell. But we have some switches there, some additional storage. Back here we got matching seats. Nice little PlayStation, no pun intended. You can put a TV here, you got your speaker, VHS. Looks like a DVD player, CD. Actually, I gotta put my phone on. I need you guys to exactly read what this says. When's the last time you saw this DVD logo? Then you got the CD player. This one looks like it controls the channels. VHS right there. Like I said, TV, AC. Again, another high roof. Can't necessarily stand up straight, but it is extremely spacious. This one has a full bed. I think two adults can easily sleep right there. Someone with a high ace comment below. Are you able to fold these seats forward? and get some additional room like can this fold forward and then get some additional room similar to this high ace this one for sure has longer shelves so maybe it doesn't but this one does still have a sink if you want to wash your hands you could do it here take a low shower you got a fridge stove water tank storage all around got some storage up there to hang some things and then this one i remember is also a pretty badass camper look at this Again, stove, sink, cabinets, more storage, more storage, high roof. Here's another high ace. This one is similar to the blue one we initially saw first. Got the captain chairs, three seats back there. K is the way and we all know that, but to be honest, going on a road trip in that Alto, it's fun and all, but not only is it not the quickest, but it's not the most comfortable. So you're kind of sacrificing speed and comfort. At least with this guy, it's also not the fastest, but I would be driving on clouds. So I think that's all the high aces for now. You guys remember when I bought that crown from Texas? That might have been my favorite road trip ever in a JDM car because I was able to go fast and still be comfortable. This one's a Cresta. I think it's like maybe a smaller crown. I believe it's also four wheel drive based off this, but it's pretty cool. Then we got an Acti. We got a big boy Pajero. We have a crash one here. If anybody needs some parts, maybe hit them up. We got this Terios. I thought this was a Terios Kid, which is basically like a Pajero Jr. Mini, but this is just a normal Terios. I think he told me it's a 1.3 liter. This is not a K car, but it's again, one of those K cars where, or cars I should say, that are basically K car size, but they put little over fenders, longer bumpers. So it's not in the K class per se, and also has a bigger motor. So something like this would be pretty cool actually, speaking of road trips, because I'm sure I can go maybe 120 and maybe be at 3000 on the RPM, ABS, dual airbags, 
maybe I'll drive this in this video. He also has a silver one over there. We're gonna talk about the light aces next. He's lining them all up for me. So here we have six light aces and town aces four light aces to be exact and two town aces it's pretty cool to see them all together i was asking him what the differences were and comment below if there are any he said that they're essentially the same exact car that toyota just put two different names that he doesn't know why they did that but i actually drove this in one of the other videos last time i was here and i like it this i could understand a little more than a nissan atlas because I feel like this is literally just a slightly bigger K truck. This one, like my Delica, is also a column shifter five speed, which is always fun to drive. This is a town nace right next to it. Let's see if there's really any differences. I think the interior looks a little cleaner. This one is automatic. You can see the little gauge pod there, 73,000 kilometers. Got the big screen there. But yeah, these are sick. This is something I 100% will buy. Like, count i don't know when exactly i'm doing a bunch of k stuff right now but if i ever come across a cheap light ace or town ace i will for sure buy one drive it around treat it like a k truck let's check this one out Forty-one thousand kilometers this one is also a column shifter five speed wow i haven't done this in a while so that's first second third fourth fifth what a time i really like i i not even just saying this i've really enjoyed driving column shifters it definitely takes some getting used to because they're used to just having your clutch in and doing that but being able to just sit back comfortably like this and just change all the gears is such a game changer i wouldn't want to do it in something like the cappuccino or a sports car but something like this something like a van it makes perfect sense so this one is the only diesel he just told me and next we have this light ace dump you can't tell me this is just not a K-truck with a bigger nose. Two pistons, which is pretty cool. It's a hard dump. Four-wheel drive. This one's a column shifter four-speed. Interior Super Mint. 24,000 kilometers. I think this one we're going to save for last because that one's the craziest. And then we have this light ace with the cover in the back. Let's check this out. Also column shifter, 14,000 kilometers, interiors. Man, I'm surprised a lot of people don't have these. Maybe I just don't see them in the East Coast, but I all see them with low kilometers. They look clean. Let's see what this looks like back here. Yeah, look at this. It's really easy to remove also. You can remove this thing and then cover Just up. this, right? Yeah. This cover, angles came out. Yeah. Any height you can make it. Yeah, this is cool because I always say with K-trucks, if you want to park somewhere, you can't really leave your stuff. Yeah. But if you have something like this, it kind of kills my theory that they're not the best. But speaking of best, let's talk about this guy. So I'm going to Google Transit exactly what this says. But this is a mobile gas station. You could put any fuel back here. Look at this, it has on and off. I wanna see exactly what it says, but. Uh, because this is spring, hold it, mm, not easily come out. Yeah, it makes sense. This yeah. is this not connected wire, the yeah. electric. I can turn on the electric from the front, then turn on here, working, everything is working. Boom, pump, everything. And yeah. the hose is almost 20 meter long. Wow. But yeah, check this thing out. It's four wheel drive. Four wheel drive, five speed, AC, 118,000 kilometers. Wow, this thing was putting in work in Japan. What's this, like a fire extinguisher? Makes sense. Definitely need that if you're going to be pushing around a mobile gas station. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> this, this is crazy. Next, let's talk about these campers. He has three of them. I think they're like 20 to 18. Mention Wave for the Fame. He's giving everyone discounts. Automatic. Wow, only 70,000 kilometers. That's pretty low for a camper. That's like almost nothing. Interior is clean. I'm loving the huge decal. It's very 90s. Got the awning right there. Got the windows. This one, can I get inside or is it too close? Ooh, I think I can. All right, let's go inside here, see what it looks like. Okay. 
I don't know if I've seen any campers with like hardwood tables. You got your fan here, water pump, bunch of storage, water tanks down here, I'm assuming. Large cabinet for all my hot dogs. Got a shower in here, I'm assuming. Yup, with a toilet. More space. I think that this is one bed. And then if you put this up, combine those together, that turns into bed number two. This looks like maybe a kid's bed. You got the window with the screen. This, yeah, this pulls out. Two adults can easily sleep there. I'm standing up with room to spare at that. Those hyaces were cool, but something like this is like an actual home. Like you could really live here comfortably, travel the world. One day, one day I'm gonna buy one of these JDM campers. Maybe I'll trade the cappuccino for one. And I'm gonna travel all over the world, all over the country, all over Mexico, and make my dreams come true. Let's check out this one. This guy's a bit smaller, I can just tell. Speaking of column shifter, we got another one there. Four wheel drive though, which is cool. This one has a door on the side too. This one doesn't. This one also has the awning though, which is cool. Let's open this up. Got the screen door. I like when it has these because you could kind of have the door still open, but then get the fresh air when I'm camping in Arizona when it's extremely hot. Okay, I can still stand up. If you're like 6'1", I think it might be an issue. But storage, fridge, much smaller bed, obviously. Another bed here. This one does have a toilet and um, shower, though. Got your sink, stove. That fridge, I'm assuming, goes right there. Pretty nice. A little more compact, but I can see myself sitting here editing videos, getting some work done. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, road to 30k. Let's get to 100k before this year's over. And now let's check out the last one. Third guy is a Toyota Hiace. This one is automatic, which is great. That means anyone can drive it. 114,000 kilometers. Has a pretty high roof. Let's check out the back where all the magic happens. This one also has a side door. Screen door too, I love that. Slide this down and that's a bed. This is also a bed. Pull it all the way out. Got some lights there, a fan, TV. Connect my PlayStation 1 or Nintendo 64. Has a fridge. This one only has a shower, no toilet. Hmm. I wonder if that's a deal breaker for some of the real deal campers. Got your fan there, stove, sink. I can still stand up. Again, if you're like 6'1", I might have to slouch a little bit. Now let's talk about some K cars. First, we got the Suzuki Auto Works. This thing is pretty cool. It's holding me down during this road trip. Next, we have a blue Honda Acti. Everyone's favorite K truck. This one is four wheel drive, five speed, no AC, 91,000 kilometers. Interior is pretty clean. Headliner looks good. Bed is also nice. Looks like I could have some new tires as well. Pretty nice. Then we have another Honda Acti. This one, again, is five-speed and four-wheel drive. This one has AC, 141,000 kilometers. Little rips in the seat, but nothing too crazy. Again, bed and everything looks good. Then we got a Suzuki Carry. Wow, it's automatic. Wow, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen a Suzuki Carry like this automatic. Wow, if anyone's looking for an automatic K-truck, there's one here. There's not too many in America, I'll tell you that much. But we do have a Suzuki right here. Bed looks good. Got some rims on there that fit every K-Truck too. Those are pretty sought after. I had those on my Suzuki actually. So yeah, that's a little K-Truck corner.
we still got more to look at let's check out that highest i think that's the one he was telling me that is has like a coffee maker in the back has a bunch of cool stuff let's check is this the one this guy has so many highests no nah, it can't be this one yeah no this one looks pretty yeah no this one is just a passenger car it's definitely not this one yeah it's locked too but there's one of the highest he said that have a coffee maker and a bunch of cool stuff maybe it's that one let's walk over there is it this bad boy Ooh, it might be <laughs> it might be let's see 156 000 kilometers automatic has all the cool buttons extremely high roof let's work our way over here we got some more k trucks first we got a high jet dump hard dump at that it's locked i love that high jet doily let me pull out my phone so you guys can see it in hd wow if he had both of them i swear to you i would offer him at least a hundred dollars for this if only he had the bottom piece though but that's sick five speed four wheel drive 139,000 kilometers nice little dump then we got a suzuki dump let's see is this one also automatic now nah. all right back to the basics this one is a five speed though 126,000 kilometers no ac very clean though bed's not too bad but yeah let's open this how can i get in there maybe i have to go this way oh yeah this one is the real deal it has this has this window <laughs> this one this one's gonna be special i don't even have to open it so let's work our way to the back it has the normal five seats here but then two side seats got some speakers i can't stand up fully got a little i'm not even sure what this is. It looks like maybe a bed water maybe this one isn't the coffee one either but you got your fridge you got some storage there i gotta ask him where it's at because he was talking about that one like it's the coolest thing ever this one is still cool but i thought this was the coffee maker i was trying to make myself a cup of jdm coffee right now we have this toyota high ace kind of similar to the atlas let's see what this is about five speed 280,000 kilometers looks like it was definitely put to use I want to say it's almost bigger than the Atlas. Maybe it's all in my head. Then we have this Jimny. I was looking at this when I first got here. It's automatic. Got the fog lights. Extremely clean interior. Only 64,000 kilometers. I was thinking about buying one of these, but I already have two Jimny. So I feel like I got to give the Pajero or like the Honda Z or that Terios kit a chance. But this one actually shares the same motor as the Alto. Five speed, four wheel drive, has AC. All this looks exactly like the Alto actually. Even this, yeah, all that is exactly the same as the Alto. And this, and this, this whole, this whole thing is actually the same as the Alto, I just realized. Back here, we got the Suzuki Sport spare tire cover, aftermarket tail lights. We got a cappuccino over there. Then we have this Beetle. Someone comment below if I should ask for a test drive. Is this where you put the gas? Nah, no way, right? Look at those tires. That actually might be where you put the gas because where else would it be? Unless it's like under this seat. I can't believe this is even a seat. Like, do people actually sit back there? Let me get in this. How do you get in and you just go above it? Uh, let's see. What do you guys think? Should I ask for a test drive? This is crazy. This is like, look at this. Look at my point of view right now. My head is almost above this windshield. Whoever buys this in Virginia, hit me up so I could go on a test drive. This guy has some over fenders. Looks like a carbon fiber lip. Stock wheels, yellow calipers. I see you, bruh. Looks like it has a muffler or maybe full exhaust. Get into the interior. We got some black and red bits going on. Moving shift knob. It says 11,000 kilometers. I'm going to assume that's 111. Looks good though. I'll pop the hood. Let's see if there's any aftermarket mods under there. Straw bar. Air filter. Looks clean though. 
blow bob or nothing, but that doesn't mean anything bad. All right. Then we got the Joe Exotic Mini Cooper. Ooh, this one is nice. Got the wheels on there. And then, yeah, this is the other Terrios. That's not a K car, but I thought it was. Yeah, this would be a bad ass off-roader. Arroyo Auto Sales. If you're watching this in Cali, he just had a blue one. I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. That one sold for 10.5. I was watching it like, yo, this is one of the cleanest ones I've ever seen. This one looks like it's a custom. 76,000 kilometers. It's five speed. Oh, the keys are here. Oh, uh, battery's dead. But yeah, this is sick. AC, power windows all around. I could definitely see myself buying one of these as well. Definitely before Jimny, just because I've had so many. And then I don't see... Ooh, actually, I do see more K-Cars. Oh, that's a Pajero. Let me walk over here and show you some other JDM classics. Before we go over to the classics, this is a very slept on car. It's called a Nissan El Grand. It's not as big as a Delico or High Ace, but it's just as cool. Very spacious. Got the glass roof all around. Digital dash. I made a video on this the last time I was here and I really like it. I feel like it's, uh, it's cheap too. I think it's like eight or nine. It's not that expensive. It's definitely a nice little daddy van. It's four wheel drive. The seats all twist. They're all individual seats. Got the AC back there. Is this a screen? Wow, that's a screen. That's sick. But yeah, I like this. This is a slept on car. I don't think a lot of people talk about the Nissan El Grand or Homie. Yeah, it's called the El Grand Homie, something like that. But it's cool. I like it. And then over here, we have two Toyota Serras. In my opinion, and I believe K is the way, don't get me wrong. I would buy one of these before I buy an AZ1. AZ1 is just cool because of the doors. Now owning a cappuccino, now learning more about K cars. This is, let's just say $10,000 and an AZ1 is double that. There's no way that AZ1 is double as cool as this. If the only thing we love about the AZ1 is the doors, this has the same doors. You can seat four people, not two. They only come, I wouldn't say they only come automatic, but most of them are automatic. So I guess you could say that's one flaw, but I combat that flaw with the fact that this is not a K car. So I can drive 80, 90, 100 miles per hour without blowing up my car. And I think they look cool. Add some rims, slam it, tint it. You could actually put the window down, unlike the AZ1 that only opens that much. These are cool, man, I'm telling you. I don't know when I'm gonna get them. I've said this 90 times already in this video, but I definitely see myself getting a Sarah one day along with a Jimny Sierra and maybe one of these, <laughs> maybe one of these flying pugs. Shout out to Chibi Pajero. He actually just bought one of these. But this Jimny Sierra is pretty cool. Very clean interior. This one, because it's a 1.3 liter, the seats are a lot further back. And then it's a 1.3. I'll pop the hood. So this one, just like the Pajero Jr., has a much bigger motor than the K car. Literally twice the size. I made a comparison video between these cars. Click the corner to watch that. How could I end this video without driving at least one of the diesel turbo Toyota monsters? So I'm going to drive this. It's four-wheel drive. This one has a Nardi. Got the big muffler back there. Let's check out the interior. Clean, sunroof. I like this Nardi. I want to put this on one of my cars. It's five speed, 161,000 kilometers. Heated seats? Yeah, I think this might have heated seats. Is that cooled seats too? No way. I'm gonna put this on for now. Let's see what happens. Seeing how homie has like 20 diesel Toyotas, I'm just gonna assume this is gonna be a great driving experience. Put my seat up, put this in first, e-brake down. First time driving one of these. Oh, it has a turbo light. That's sick.
speedometer is relatively easy right now. Definitely not used to that. Let's get comfortable though. This isn't a speed demon. I love this Nardi too. It's like the perfect size. Going downhill. Let me just punch it. Let me show you what I'm looking at. pull over and show you what this thing looks like headlights on fog lights on listen to that diesel purr surprisingly not very loud either <laughs> that's so sick people buy Prados and Land Cruisers and Hiluxes and even him and now I see why he has 20 of them because you get parts really anywhere oh crap I missed my turn look at Virginia Auto Mall I'm too focused driving this all right let me do a u-turn but it makes sense you can buy parts for this anywhere the homie David who just bought a Prado said his alternator died and he got one for like 160 bucks just went there bought it and swapped the parts over no problem one more car for it in this video so initially I just walked past this Prado because I didn't really think anything I just thought it was a normal Prado and then he showed me the back. If we didn't see enough cool campers and JDM cars in this video, look at this. So if you pop this up, open this, you have a sink, it looks like it was never used. These little wood panels go under the seat. If you put that up, you just get your normal two rear seats. Look at this. And here she is. Maybe my next Honda. I think the reception of this bad boy was 75% do not buy it, 25% this would be a crazy build. Not sure if that's where we still sand, but yeah, this thing is clapped out. There's no denying it. It doesn't even have a good top. There's a hole there. You could see leaves inside. It's probably moldy. There's a lot of issues. I mean, just look at the cluster. If it starts right now. If this thing starts, I was okay. I was about to say, if it starts, I would have been sold. But it used to always start every single time. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's past its time. If he gave it to me for like a thousand bucks, maybe I'll do it. But he wants three, and it doesn't have a title, sadly. But it does have Lambo doors, not sadly. Look at this. Check that out. They must have removed the exhaust too. Let me put this down. They removed the cannon? Yeah, they did. I wouldn't say, I, I don't even know what to say. Just when he thought the video was over, he's showing me some of the other toys he has. A gasoline Nissan Safari. Got some camping stuff back there too. Sunroof. Pretty clean, looks like that's a screen. Loving the color. Wipers over the headlights is always a flex. But I guess I'll end this video here. Always a good time stopping by the homies at Virginia Auto Mall. Remember the name, this is way before the fame.